All right, so in the last video, we talked about how we can protect certain cells within a worksheet. Now we're going to discuss how we can protect the structure of a workbook. Protecting the structure of a workbook is not necessarily protecting the cells, but we are protecting the actual sheet tabs themselves, meaning that we are preventing users from adding new sheets, deleting sheets, and move, copy, or renaming sheets. So for example, I'm going to press and hold the control key on my keyboard, or the command key if you're on Mac, and select the sheet tab and drag over to create a few copies. Now we have three individual sheets. And now to protect the structure of the workbook, we're going to come up here to the review tab and select protect workbook. And down here, we have a password that is optional to use. And I'm going to give you the same advice again when adding a password to a sheet or a workbook. Make sure that you remember the password or store it in a safe location to find later. Because if you forget the password, it's very hard to unlock a workbook or a worksheet without the password. But for now, we're going to leave the password empty and make sure that the structure box is checked and click OK. And if we go down to our sheet tabs and try to rename a sheet, if we right click, now all of our insert, delete, rename, move, or copy is grayed out. Now we don't have to worry about users accidentally adding sheets, deleting sheets, or renaming, moving, and copying sheets. So once again, pretty simple process to do. This just adds a little extra security to the structure of our workbook. And if you want to unprotect the workbook, all you have to do is go back to the review tab, click protect workbook, and if you entered a password, it would prompt you for a password. But since we didn't, now this protect workbook is not grayed out anymore. Now we can add sheets, delete sheets, or rename, move, and copy worksheets.